Right, let's take a look at the Easy Act power bank. This is the one with uh, five uh, five amp hours or five thousand milliamp hours. Well, that's the that's the unit. And you can just pause and read. Not the only button on this side. That's the built-in cable that just comes out. So uh, nothing except the power button and this little mark here. And yeah, you got the uh, micro USB input, which you charge the same way you charge your phone. So whatever you use to charge your phone, you could charge this guy. A little LED, a little white LED, very faint uh, LED that you use as a flashlight. Uh, USB, standard USB, you can plug in whatever you want to charge. Okay, let's uh, continue with the box. Yeah. Uh, nothing here. Nothing there. Okay, five amp hour, or well, five thousand milliamp hours. Okay, uh, it's just a website. Um. Okay, mine came in black. Obviously. It's supposed to charge at two and a half amps. Okay, um, so this device, uh, it comes with, uh, yeah, instructions that have all kinds of discrepancies on it. Um, but anyway, there's the instructions. You just, I guess you just rotate and Pause, rotate, and read. Anyway, it's useless anyway. So it's no point. Nobody reads these things. But, um, anyway, there's, there's, some, there's some errors here. Uh, it says, it says output one micro USB port as one amp. Up at two USB port one to two amps and micro USB here. So they're actually talking about this guy here. Let's see out. One of them is output one and one of them is output two. Okay, so let's see guys. So on the bottom it says output one is the USB and on the top it says output two is the USB. But the micro USB is output one and here it says output two. So anyway, whatever. I assume that this will give you one amp and the other guy will give you two amps. Anyway, they should revise this. It's full of errors and yeah, uh, don't read really that. Um, so anyway, um, we plug in something here. By default, it's off, and so let's get a 
cable. And charge my Samsung Note 2. Let's see if it lights up. Let's see if it lights up. So I'm just going to push the power button once. And it lights up the LED thing here, and my phone is charging. Charging. And if you push twice the power button, you got the little uh, flashlight here going on, and it just everything still continues to charge. My phone is still charging. And the lights are on. And that's a little flash like that. It's not very impressive. This little USB light is brighter than the flashlight here. And push the power button twice and the LED goes off. Uh, pushing the power button once shows you the power level. So you got four LEDs, that means it's full charge. Charge complete. And Holding down the button does no, doesn't do anything. It doesn't actually shut down anything. Just does funny uh, light flashes. Doesn't actually. So there's no way to turn it off. The only way to turn it off is to unplug it. And the uh, time out. And so this cable, when you're not using it, goes right in there. So let's see if it times itself out yet. Still on. It's time on in about a minute. And so after a little more than a minute, it shuts off. Press press button, it comes back on again. So anyway, that's that's all there is to it. Not much to it. It pretty much. Just Keeps it very simple. So, let's, let's, uh, take a look at what's inside. I got this yesterday, so let's take it apart. Uh, I didn't didn't get a chance to really use it, but uh, let's see what's inside. I have one of these pry tools that you can get uh, on Amazon or eBay or whatever. And uh, they're just pry bars. Just, just uh, look for pry bars. They're called spudgers. But uh, just put in pry bar. You're not going to remember that. So just put in pry bar. And uh, just pry everything open. I've never opened it before, and I just got this yesterday, so there's no way I could have opened it before. So I was just going to take a look at it the first time.
You know, a lot of these pry bars are useful. It's plastic, and um, so it won't really damage anything, but they're really uh, scratched a little bit. I'm use a screwdriver. So that's the other side of this guy. So I just gotta remember that this is bottom. Easy axe. And it's bottom, so I'm gonna screw it up. And uh, it's nothing to look at inside here. But I uh, see the whole thing. It's it's all battery. This device. It's all battery. I was expecting a uh, larger. Uh, circuit board, but um, the circuit board is just tiny a little bit here, and uh, it's all battery. Whole thing battery. Um, it comes out. It doesn't really want to come out. It's probably stuck there by uh, double stick tape. And um, so uh, they lied a little bit. It's uh, 4,900 uh, milliamp hours, 4,900 milliamp hours, or 4.9 amp hours, 3.7 volts, which is standard, 18.1 uh, watt hours. So it's slightly less than 5,000 milliamp hours or 5 amp hours. Because of light. I guess 5,000 would be more impressive than saying 4,900. Let me put a little light on this. Let's see. Two thousand fourteen or eleven, so it wasn't that long ago. Some voltage regulators there. And it's blue. So it has a little LED to shut off the lights here. Uh, so the LEDs on that side. See, so four little LEDs there. So, uh, no, I didn't do any damage to it. Okay, and I can just 
go close it back up. Anyway, so, so I'm micronized, so it's not much to really do. So I'll just put it back. Um, see that damage or anything? Hmm. Not damage. Good. Try to twist it now. Alright, All right, so let's snap that together. Quite new, except uh, just fixed it. Um, yeah, it's a nice solid device. No slack, feels uh, feels solid, and it's a uh, thin uh, size of a. Uh, has a four inch uh, smartphone. So if you have a 4.3 inch uh, smartphone, that's the size of it. I got a Samsung Note 2 here, and it's. Uh, there you go. Should be able to charge the uh, Note um, half or three quarters away. Don't forget, it's got to power the electronics that you just saw inside, and it's got to convert it from 3.7 volts to 5 volts. So it's got to step up the voltage, so there's loss there, loss in powering the electronics, loss in stepping up, and then loss in from the device to your phone. That's another loss, so it loses a lot of energy. Uh, so you're not going to get the uh, 5 amp hours. I get like half, and also um, as as the battery runs down, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna charge it. So um, if if this guy let's say runs from so it's hundred percent chargers, it'll, it'll charge your phone. But when it goes down to let's say I don't know fifty uh, percent or whatever, it's not gonna charge your phone. So you're not gonna get the full. Uh, capacity out of it. So you see a lot of reviews on Amazon saying that uh, they can't charge the phone 16 times, but it's not going to happen. So um, so my Note 2 has a battery capacity of uh, 3 amp hours. This is 5. So it will not, I, I, I won't expect it to charge the whole thing to charge 100%. Maybe half, I'll be lucky if it charges half. So if your phone has a battery, let's say, Two amp hours or two thousand milliamp hours, it may charge it fully. It may, but don't expect it to. All right, thanks for watching.